I want to ask you about the neighborhood itself. Uh, we've said that it, it was a mixed neighborhood racially. Or was it principally a black neighborhood? Principally black. They called it was like the black belt. It was something in which if you wanted, there was the undertakers, the doctors. Yes. The right. lawyers. Right. In the black community, the doctor, uh, right. Abraham Perry. Uh-huh. Right. And then you had, um, uh, what would I say? The, like I said with Nanny Chapman, you know, she was the, the yes. kind of like the music person within the neighborhood. Now, she did that for all of the kids. You know, we all, I even sang in that. And we sang at, uh, on work, road, work Avenue, and never forget the church is still there today. On Sunday evening, we were invited to sing every Sunday. And Danny would tell us, now listen, you're not gonna get any refreshments if you don't show up to sing. So we had a pretty good choir. And I was one that couldn't hardly carry a tune, but I did something. I, you know, I was just low key it, you know. But uh, you had some of everybody in there. Right. And the music teacher was there. Right. Yeah. And did your parents uh, land in that neighborhood when they first arrived? Or yes, did they... my aunt lived there. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So they came Annie right Davis. to that. We came right there. That, okay. Because uh, she, she knew what my mother expected, you know. So I think she must have, I didn't know how long she had been there. But I know that she was there. And her husband worked at Firestone. That's how my dad got to work at Firestone. I see. You brought someone with you. And like I said, when he first came, you had to work. Uh, until they called you because they had them way out in the land called Hunky Tonk or something that was a subsidiary of Firestone. Mm -hmm. Right. And if you worked well there or whatever, then of course they would call you in, they hired you in there. Because wow. my Uncle Henry and his husband had paved the way because you bring somebody in, you're responsible for them if they don't work out. Right. But everybody worked at the plant. Do you remember how long you were in that neighborhood? When did you move away? We were there. We were there. I tell you why we moved. We moved closer to Wesley Temple because we were Methodists. We were not Baptists. And we moved closer there on Bluff Street. Right. Because we was one block from church. Where the Urban League is, that's, or was. Was, that's right. Was before the new building. That's right. Right. That was, that's where it was. And do you remember what year that was? It was in the 40s. Remember? Okay, so yeah. before, because in the, in the 50s. In the 40s, almost 50s. Almost, your were, neighborhood was designated what they called the University District. That's right, yes. And you remember all this yes. very well. Yes. It was part of urban renewal. That's right. And it was... Uh, that ball field is there today. That's where blood is. Lee Field. Yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. And so... Um, and I tell you who else? We had a, the, the truant officer for the whole city of Akron for, was uh, Miss Banks. John Banks was her son. And she was a truant officer. And on Monday mornings she would call the school to find out who was not there. Oh, the truancy officer. That's right. And she and my godfather, which was Reverend Foote from Wesley Temple Church, either one of them didn't have a car. Do you know they walked to the schools, or caught the bus, but mostly walked to the schools where there were X number of students that didn't show up and they went to their home. Wow. Nobody, and these were such wonderful people. They right. went to their home. Right. Never got a ride, never did right. anything. Extraordinary. Um, when? That had to be in the 40s. When you were in school still. Mm -hmm. when, when the university and the city made plans to take over the neighborhood through urban renewal mm -hmm. and eminent domain, mm -hmm. And federal money went mm -hmm. into that project as mm -hmm. well. Was it controversial? Not really, because they, see, they were into, these were educated people, most of them. 
and they were into education. So if the university was going to be, see, you didn't have much, anybody trying to keep that from going forward. They spoke well of the university and right. wanted it That's to right. do well. Yes, uh -huh. um, wanted it to do well. Do you remember? Um, and I remember the first graduate who told me that she was, and that was Delaney. Delaney is her last name. Okay. Mm -hmm. The first graduate who told you? From Akron University at that particular time in the The audience. first black graduate? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the name? Edith Delaney. Edith Delaney. That is correct. The first black graduate of the University That's of Akron. That's to my knowledge. Yeah. 